Good afternoon, YouTube. Matt M. Roy back again. Back to you with a unboxing and installation video. Kind of uh, switching up a little bit today. As most of you guys know who follow me on Facebook, um, I have been expecting this package for a while. I have ordered uh, 16 gigabytes of crucial ballistic sport memory off of Newegg. Uh, upgrading my Dell Dimension X PS 8700 from 8 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes. Now, before anybody asks, no, I'm not going to keep the original memory in there. I could theoretically do that and have the computer at 24 gigabytes of RAM, but this RAM has a much lower latency and a much better quality uh, stick than what's in there right now. So that RAM is coming out. I will probably find another use for that, maybe in my um, HP Media Center system. I'm not exactly sure yet, but for now we're going to go ahead and unbox this memory. Uh, hopefully it is the correct RAM that they sent. I know Newegg is somewhat famous for shipping out the wrong products to people on occasion, so uh, we'll see what I got. All right, so I put the camera down so I could cut the uh, top off, and I do realize I just cut into something here, probably one of their little ads that they put in there, but uh, we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and pull out the memory. Actually, first off, this is what I cut into. This is save 20% off H&R Block Tax software. Yeah, it is uh, tax season once again, so I'm not really surprised that they put that in there. I have a tax man, so I'm not even worried about that. Is there anything else in there? Nope, it is empty. So, we can take a look at the memory. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. A little Jurassic Park humor there. There it is, the Crucial Ballistic 16 gigabyte stick. This is two 8 gigabyte sticks of their sport memory. PC3 12800, uh, which is the exact same speed that I have in there now because, again, I am not a gamer. I don't want anything super duper fast. This is more than sufficient for my needs. Um, I don't see where it's listing the latency. It might be on here. Oh, there we go. The camera will focus. It's 99924. So decent sticks of RAM. Um, they, they have excellent reviews on Newegg, and I have used Crucial RAM for quite a few of my builds in the past. Uh, as you can see on the back, Crucial is looks like they're actually from uh, Idaho. So maybe it's made here, but I highly doubt it. It's probably a Chinese import, but still very very well made memory. So let's go ahead. I'm going to disconnect the XPS 8700 and we'll go ahead and install this RAM. See you guys in just a minute. Alright, so I have the computer out and uh, I'm going to show you guys this memory really quick before I stick it in there. Remember, try not to touch the uh, pins on the bottom, but absolutely beautiful looking memory. Um, it's got a small heat shield on it, no actual heat sink, but again, I'm not too worried about it because, again, this is not a gaming system. For those of you guys who are interested, you guys can pause the video if you want to read the specs on there again. And as you can see on the back, it does say crucial.com. Ballistic Sport. So let's go ahead and pull the side off of my XPS 8700 here. And as you guys know, not even a month ago, I put this very nice R7 graphics card in there. So that's the first upgrade I'm doing. The next is, of course, going to be this memory. Now, I'm going to go ahead and follow the way that they did it originally. You can see, if I turn the light on, you can probably see better, <laughs> that the sticks are both in the white slots. Now, the reason they do this is because this is dual channel memory. If you were to stick one in the white slot and one in the black slot, uh, the RAM may work, but it'd be running in single channel mode. Um, as you can see, I definitely could upgrade this to 32 gigabytes easily by buying two more sticks of that Crucial, because there are four slots available. Well, I'm going to go ahead and install this memory, and then we'll go ahead and give the system a try. Alright, guys, and the new memory sticks are installed. Just for those of you that are curious, these are the sticks that I pulled out of the computer. I'll go ahead and turn the light off so you guys can actually read it. They are Samsung, and these are 4 gigabytes each, again PC12800, so 
the same amount of uh, the same speed there but it, this one had a much higher latency and I don't remember what it was off the top of my head these are so cheap they don't even they don't even mark it on the sticks but there were two of those which again I am gonna save because they may they may come so some use to me in the future I'm thinking maybe putting it in the HP system over there the media center so let's go ahead and put this computer back together. I'm going to go ahead and make sure all the connections are still good and connected because I did put my hands in there for a couple minutes. And we'll go ahead and give it a try. See if I indeed have, now have 16 gigabytes of memory. Talk to you in a minute. All right, everything is hooked up. Let's go ahead and give it a try. As UXW Bill would say, smoke test. Well, that's always a good sign. See if anything actually comes up. And while we're waiting for that, I think I'll go ahead and take a sip of coffee. Coffee does a body good. Something's trying to come up. Nope, it's a good sign. Keyboard failure because I don't actually have a physical keyboard hooked up to this. I just have my Bluetooth Logitech MX5000 here. I could probably get into the BIOS and uh, change that setting, but to be honest with you, I just haven't bothered checking into it because the computer still boots up just fine. And it looks like... Uh, Looks like we're good so far. Now I just need to see if we're actually getting the full 16 gigabytes. Um, the BIOS in this should automatically um, adjust the settings, but if I run into any issues, I may have to go in there and manually set this memory. I have the information on the uh, package to do that, but we will see. All right, so the computer has booted. I'm going to go in and see if this memory is actually showing up. Then I will probably run a mem test, but I'm not going to do that right now because I still have some work I need to do on here. And yes, like I've said, the very next upgrade for this computer is definitely going to be a uh, SATA, ugh, I can't even think right now, a M SATA SSD because as you can see, it still boots up pretty slow. All right, going to File Explorer. Yeah, the booting time is definitely not from the memory. It is, of course, because I'm still using a mechanical hard drive versus an SSD in here. And here comes the moment of truth. It's going to show up on here. And what do we see right there? 16 gigabytes of memory. So I am going to call this a successful installation. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.